Yo, what up out there in YouTube land? It's me, your boy, 87 Show Enough, and I am here with Andre. This guy. This guy. My name is Andres Perel. I'm one of the Phoenix vendors. I have tried to memorize his last name and pronounce it like seven times. I cannot do it. I keep saying Pereira. It is, uh, it's, it's not right. It's not right. It's not. Yeah. So, yeah, as you know, I'm one of the vendors for Phoenix Games, um, Orlando, Florida. So what we do is sell, buy, sell, trade, whatever you want, we'll give it to you. Singles, buy, sell, trade, www.phoenixgamesinc.co.com. I'm just fucking with y'all. Okay. How long you been vending, bro? I've been vending for almost like four years. Um, Jeff uh, Williams and Andre Carrera gave me an opportunity to get to this level where I was at. I started out as a player, then I started as a judge. Um, shout out to him. The boy right there, Keith. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, you know, no. Don't, you know don't shout out to me because if I if I recall if I call recall it correctly, you were one of the dudes that gave me my first shot in Alabama. Yes. Shout out to this gentleman for if it wasn't for this guy, 87 Show nigga wouldn't be behind the camera judging and everything. You can't make me bust on that. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. I get credit. I I give opportunities for people out there who have the potential to exceed to their levels and stuff. Keith came up to me and says, yo, I want to head judge one day or whatever. All right, work with you. Got you the same name. Next thing you know, your boy got your own set. And I spoke to Jeff. Jeff is definitely down. Let me take over Georgia. So, ugh. So, yep, that's how we're doing it. Um, been this for a while. Uh, learned a lot. Traveled a lot. Landed YCSs, two Puerto Rico regionals. Uh, what else? Cross Florida, you know, here and there, enjoying the time, making that money, giving the satisfaction for Phoenix to give them the product. Worldwide, baby. What's the easiest part about vending? The easiest part about vending is probably sitting down. No. <laughs> no. There's no easy part about vendoring. Vendoring is a hustle type mode. It's the legal hustle. You got to make sure that everything is correct from prices, checking, your teammates, uh, your vendor crew from back at headquarters. You got to make sure that everything is right. So there's not an easy route to it. It's probably the money. Money's here and there. You get money, this and that. You go home, you do your job well. But it takes a lot of heart, dedication, and mindset to get what you need to do. I've taken notes from Phoenix. I've taken notes from Dustin. I've taken notes from Randy. I've taken notes from just about all the top vendors, like uh, in Florida, in uh, Tennessee, and in Alabama, and in uh, Georgia. And one thing I can definitely tell you is like, anytime I go back to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'm vendoring for the two stores I work for, Packers Game and Movies, kids just don't have that 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 eye for me. Like they think like. I'm bullshitting until they until they see my rank. What would you? What kind of advice would you give to vendors that are trying to make it, who are trying to sell that vendor face? That vendor face. Um, it's all about just good attitude. Just give a good attitude, good, give positive reaction. I mean, there's going to be some people that don't like what you're going to give them, but again, it's just all about is good customer service. Be positive, joke around with them. You know, be friends in a way. And just let it ride. If they're not satisfied, they're not satisfied. But sooner enough, they're going to come back and say, okay. But satisfy the guy's needs, everything will be fine. Just no game phase, no mean phase. Just enjoy. Have fun with it. Today was all about making it rain, buying up cards. How did that go? Oh, my God. It just, that's how it runs. We, we broke? Do it. Are we broke? What the hell? Oh shit, we're broke. <laughs> he bought everything. Nah, man, we can't say we're broke, but I mean, we we did our day. We're gonna go back to headquarters, count what we need to count, and do it again. Hell yeah. And do it again. And do it again. So we cannot say we're broke. I'm just kidding on that. You know that. Um, all right. Now we're done with vendoring. We're not gonna touch judging because there's no need. I mean, I think the tournament was okay today. Tournament was pretty well. Ended at seven o'clock. Pretty efficient class. Yeah, there was like a lot of complaints, but uh, that's with any regional. So let's not touch judging. Let's touch being a player. 
Okay, let's start with the rise and the fall of Dark Worlds. How did you how did you expect them to come in and how did you think they ended? One word or a couple words will say, but Dark Worlds is just a hype. It's just a hype. Uh, just like what Samurai was a hype. It's the rise and fall is basically this. Japan got their Dark World set up, they were dominating. We as Americans in the West decided to research, did our research, did our things combined and prepared for it. When that whole Dark World came back, they just flattened out. It's all about player knowledge. You can build the most brokenest deck out there, but there's always one deck that has one or two secret decks that just stops it. At the format I feel believe is random. There's no format. Really, I believe there's no format. There's, there's not a chaos format. There was not a Teledad format, which I miss Teledad. Um, I miss Teledad too. There's, there's not, there's not a random format. It's just random decks that are winning, and players are now getting to a point where Japan players are, are just play. We're catching up to Japan. Definitely. We're still a year behind them, but we're catching up in player base. Like I really feel that players are just now thinking instead of raggling doing aggro, aggro, aggro. The life sport era, aggro, 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 auto win, auto win, auto win, da da da. It, it got boring for a while or so, but now there's versatile decks that can beat each other no matter what. It's all about building the deck right and win and siding in the correct cards that functions your deck to the same level and win. You think Rabbit uh, falls into that category of hype? Rabbit is it's a very good card. In hype ways, yes. It has many combos to play with. You can play it in normals. You can play it in GBs. You can play it in dragons. You can play it in dinosaurs, which in um, dinosaurs are really broken. But it's just a hype. Again, it's just a hype. I mean, how did, I mean, well, you said six hams earlier. Six hams came out and did very, very well off the hype. Um, dark, uh, what is but it? Again, dark. It just stopped. Yeah, dark. Well, yeah, they stopped for a reason though. Yeah. They got their ass whooped it, when it comes to. Just, I think it's just not like the band list did change the deck enough. But again, it's the build. Right. It's really the build. Because I mean, think about it. What if Graceful Charity was back at this moment right now? Plants will be crazy. Plants will be crazy. Dark world will be stupid. Chaos will be faster. Sky Scourge. <coughs> Sky scores, nowhere else will be even worse. But again, it all about the key cards. Sky scores the key fuller version. 87 show enough. Yep. Um, alright. Well, I don't know. I, I seen a couple of rabbit builds. I like them. But there's like a bunch of people bashing them online and they're playing shitty versions. And they think because their version is shitty, all the versions are shitty. And that's not necessarily the case. I Everyone think, has an opinion. But I think rabbits are going to come out in the in the next YCS when they are legal. The Dino build is going to be like they're they're going to top. If anything, it'll be like how y, YCS Ohio was. They're going to go day one and they're going to be at the top tables. And then something's going to come up and either knock them out or they're going to rise up and knock them out. It's same thing with Dark World. Dark World in the last YCS was all hyped up, like. 130 some Dark World decks were out there. I was there. They did yeah. go. They did go in in force, and then Billy Break and the rest of the plant people just top 32 no Dark World. Uh, so it's it's all about preparation. Really, it is. What would you like to play? The, uh, what would you like to tell people to play this format if you can give your opinions on some great decks? I mean, I'm an anti-meta player. I love anti-meta. I I still believe that anti-meta can still make a force. It already has. And a couple of YCSs on tops. Um, it's just the right formula for anti meta. I mean, it's a very versatile deck. It basically can stop anything. Ain't no meta like anti meta. I'm yeah. just saying. But if you want to go out there and win, of course, plants. I, you, you can't knock the plants. The, the but combos are sick. I always recommend any player try random. Chamber. Chamber is retarded. Chamber is retarded. Um, someone out there that can figure out how to build one of my favorite decks, Patman or Flip Flop, and make it consistent and win, 
let me know. And it'll be Rogue, which will be even 10 times more hype mm -hmm. for you, whoever you are out there watching this video. I, feel, I always feel that Pac-Man is slow, but there's a lot of cards coming out where you can integrate a Pac-Man engine and make it function. I played Pac-Man Chaos, which is really fast and consistent. Uh, Pac-Man Burn is bad, but go out there and randomize. I mean, wind-ups are very good. I think wind-ups are going to make a force. Oh, yeah. Um, so these new other cards are coming out. That's the ninjas. In insectizers? Yeah, the insectizers are like dragoon type of cards. They Equipping from out, hand or graveyard? Um, the ninjas, like I said, pick up strike ninjas. Right. Pick up strike ninjas. I still haven't looked into them, but I'll do that later. Pick up strike ninjas. Those cards are going to go retarded. And any old strike ninja cards, pick them up just to shit the giggles. Well, fuck it. I appreciate the conversation, bro. Anything you want to tell the rest of the viewers? Nah, just like be safe, chill, have fun with the game, and check out the website, Phoenix Games. Singles, Singles. buy, sell, trade. www.phoenixgamesinc.co. Com. Follow on Facebook also. Dot com Phoenix Games One. That's a one. That is a one. That is a one. That is one. That's a one. One because they are on one. Yep. Uh, also, anyone out there, regionals is coming up real soon for us. Just check out the website, let you know what's going on on that. And enjoy. Tennessee. Next, whatever I need to go. Let's do it. Tallahassee was good. Peace, guys.